Hello, this is Cynthia Fick, and this is the July 25th stock market update. Well, we've got a busy week ahead of us. Uh, just as I see here in the afternoon, Microsoft just came out with its earnings and they beat on the bottom line, but we'll see when we wake up tomorrow morning what the, mar what the market really thinks of it. So uh, also tomorrow we have the Federal Reserve going to probably raise interest rates a little bit and then perhaps go on a pause. So that's kind of already in the market right now. So lots going on. Again, we've told you that we're ready to invest. We've made our list. We have it in there. We know what we want to buy. And now we're just waiting for that pullback, which gets harder and harder to have with so much cash on the sidelines. The minute the market trades down, everybody races in uh, to buy uh, because of this fear of missing out. So a lot going on. But let's go back again and recap why we are focusing on what the stock market is showing us it wants to do, and that's how we make our decisions. So let me recap what we've talked about already this 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 year. So here is the bull bear indicator, and you've been with me for a while. You've seen this a lot. Uh, you remember back in uh, 2006, 2008, uh, the market fell out of a long-term trend, uh, you know, beginning of 2008, and we got defensive. The market was talking us out of it. And of course, it uh, continued to go down. Did I buy in on this very exact day in 2009? No, but we came pretty darn close in here. And the big picture didn't really matter exactly what day uh, we started investing. Remember back in 2020, for those of you who were with me then, uh, we had the big COVID crash. And uh, did I buy exactly on this March, I think it was March uh, 20th uh, of 2020? No, nope, didn't buy in that exact day, but I tried to come pretty close in the next couple months. Again, the big picture, did it matter exactly when we got in? No. So here we are waiting for uh, two steps forward, half step back in the stock market, waiting for a step back, which may never come uh, because there's so much money on the sidelines just trying to get in on the market that they may have missed out on. So that's kind of what's happening to us right now. Uh, but this went bull in you know, April. And that was our first kind of signal that the market was showing us it wanted to go up. It was kind of shocking at the time. The next thing that we've talked about a lot is long-term secular trends. And you see these uh, trading sideways type of times when the market does nothing but go down or trade sideways. And that went on for almost 14 years in the early 2000s. So coming out of that, we have another secular bull market. And uh, so we are right here. It's just about like this time frame, um, way back in the you know 1990s uh, time frame. That's where we're at right now. So again, this long-term secular bull market could last for 26, 27 year, which takes us into 2034, 2035. Interesting, another long-term uh, trend. The next thing we've talked about is when when the market makes certain patterns. This is going back in the S and P five hundred to nineteen thirty three. When the market goes from a high, uh, you know, remember I, I talked about the stop, pause, and go. When it goes from a go down to a pause, back up to a go, the one two three pattern. That's only happened three times since nineteen thirty three, and we just had it happen. Uh, the middle of July of 2023, we just um, closed one out. So uh, in the past, it happened in 1958, 1963, and then again in 1991. So how did the S&P 500 do after it got this one, two, three pattern? Um, it was up, uh, you know, an average of 11.47% one year after that. And that would have been uh, from when the pattern, you know, finished. July of 2023, one year from then, we had another 11.47% left to go in the market. Three years from then, it was up 25% and so on and so on. So again, uh, another, what is the market showing us wants to do? And based on um, you know the past um, and probabilities, uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, another thing that we haven't even begun to discuss, and we'll be talking about more, what's going to drive this next leg in the market? We've talked about artificial intelligence. It's kind of like when the World Wide Web came out 
in the late 1990s, we talked about electronic vehicles and how that's going to revolutionize so many aspects of our world and economy. Uh, one thing we haven't spent a lot of time talking about was baby boomers. They're going to be retiring. They've got 75 trillion dollars in their nest eggs and they're going to be retiring and starting to spend that money that's another uh big impetus for the stock market as well as millenniums they're the biggest sector of our um you know of our world and uh they're going into some of their highest earning and spending time frames at the exact same time just so many things that are driving this market so um, that's, you know, basically the bottom line. We're watching the market, letting it show us what it wants to do. And, uh, I can guarantee you we'll never get it exactly right because I don't have a crystal ball. If I did, you know, as I've said many times, I wouldn't be sitting here, but, uh, we're going to try to come pretty darn close. So bear with us, be patient. I really appreciate that. And I will talk to you next Tuesday. Bye.